Yes, I went to see Dr. Bermana about three months ago and decided to do stem cell with him, uh, mainly because my cartilage in my knees was gone and, uh, and did the procedure about two weeks later, actually. It took about four hours to do the procedure and it was really non-invasive. And I think it's really helped me a lot. It's helped a lot with the pain and I know I'm building cartilage back in my knees, so that really, you know, because it doesn't hurt as bad anymore. It's helped me. Uh, I've been able to get back in the gym and, and start working out. I'm working out at Rhodes Fitness Center with a trainer, and it's really helped my, me get my mobility back that I didn't have before because I, I don't hurt as bad. An amazing story from Ronnie and the, uh, the, the great um, uh, relief that he got. From that, Dr. Barmada, how are you? It's good to see you again. Thank you very much. Thank Tell us about um, the procedure when uh, when Ronnie came in to you know to get some relief from the pain. Well, uh, when I first saw Ronnie, he had already been sold on this because his dog had had it. Okay, his his dog, <laughs> which had been crippled before having stem cells for his hips, and apparently a vet had given him the uh, stem cells, and he was a different dog. So when he went to see his orthopedist and he'd had um, his joints, hip joints and knee joints really in bad shape, uh, being overweight about, uh, I'm not gonna say his weight. <laughs> we won't go that far. So anyway, <laughs> anyway, so, so, so those knees were actually getting, getting, getting punished every day. Mm -hmm. So eventually his orthopedist referred him to me and we sat there and we chatted about the options and he didn't really like the options of having uh, more uh, uh, Hip knee replacements, surgery, yeah. hip replacements, knee surgeries, and so on. And he wanted to go along this route, which obviously is much milder and there is no downside whatsoever. Okay. okay. It, if, if the worst comes to the worst and you don't benefit, you don't lose. You don't lose because there's, there are no complications whatsoever. That's good. Because there are your own cells being taken from you the same morning, given back to you the same morning without culturing, without doing anything to them without processing them in any way. So they are your own cells. Okay. So the way we, the way we did this, then we agreed upon the, the surgery and uh, he came over and under local anesthesia, he was still very chatty. We we're talking about politics and all sorts of things. Um, he lay on the bed and after cleaning his belly completely, um, we make two tiny little uh, punctures this size and through there we put the anesthetic and through the same site, we get in and remove enough fat using this cannula, mm -hmm. okay? Which is in fact, a, a, it's, it's, it's a, a, a micro surgery really, basically. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Um, so you, move, you remove the fat with this and you put it- So we, that's right. This goes, at, actually this is, this is the one. This is the raw one, right. okay. We, we put this at the end of this, this is called a Tara lock. This is a specially made designed uh, lock, which allows some liquids and some gases to go through, but not the main bulk of things, of the fats that mm -hmm. are not. This goes in there and there is a special handle that goes in there. And through this, we actually suck out. We do basically liposuction, mini mm -hmm. liposuction. And we remove about two syringe folds okay. like this. Now each syringe fold is about two ounces, so about four ounces in a really big, big person is nothing. And most people want me to take more anyway. Mm -hmm. So then we, we end up with this stuff uh, and we uh, put it in the uh, spinner here, mm -hmm. uh, centrifuge, we spin it, we get oil at the top, we decant that, then we get the fat and we get the, what we call infranatant. Now we discard the infranatant because that's full of uh, local anesthetic and uh, saline. And we add enzyme to the fat to try and break up the fat and liberate the stem cells in between the fat cells. Okay. Now we incubate that in the incubator mm -hmm. for a certain length of time. Then we remove that and as per FDA regulations, we wash the uh, material three or four times to get rid of all traces of enzyme. Mm -hmm. And then we have a, 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 a mixture 
um, or uh, containing the stromal vascular fraction, which is the stuff that we that we actually the, the name that we apply mm -hmm. uh, to the stem cells in solution, a soup, if you if you will, okay, which contains about at least forty growth factors and cytokines that are really very beneficial to the body in healing. So then, we concentrate that to uh, about seven or eight mils mm -hmm. per syringe. So mm -hmm. overall, we end up with 15 milliliters. And then we deploy them, we inject them. Now, where do we inject them? Now, if somebody has a knee like rounded, we inject part of them in the knee that's, that, that has the problem. And he, he had two uh, problem knees, so mm -hmm. we injected both knees for him. And then after that, the remainder, we actually give uh, intravenously. We put it in a little uh, uh, saline solution and we give it over about half an hour. Now, what does that do? That goes around the circulation, uh, just like white cells do. Mm -hmm. People ask, well, how do they find uh, the spot that they're supposed to end up at? Well, the, the answer is very, very short, in that white cells find infection. They go there. These are no less clever than, fi than, fats, than, than white, white cells. cells yeah. So they do seek infection, they do seek uh, areas of damage or death, and they try and repair all that. Interesting. So, so when we do put them in the knee joint, then we are actually putting them in a site where they are being told form cartilage. Wow. Now, in addition to all that, we use PRP, platelet-rich plasma, which we mix with the uh, platelets, mm -hmm. uh, which we mix with the, with the stem cells, mm -hmm. and we inject also into the knee joint. Now that has a dual kind of effect because as it goes in, after a little while, it becomes like a gel. It actually acts as a matrix and holds the stem cells in the right place to try and help them to generate that uh, cartilage. Uh, and help it, and help it ab repair. Absolutely, absolutely. That's, that's, that's amazing. Right, right. Dr. Barmada, thank you so much for your time and for such great educational piece. Um, you, you have a knee joint, problems or whatever, or just call the number on your screen, set up an appointment to come in and get a consultation with Dr. Barmada here in Ocean Springs. Of course, uh, Dr. Barmada, we do want to mention that uh, results will vary from person to person. So best thing that you can do again is to set up a consultation, come talk to Dr. Barmada and his staff here and, and of course see the Mississippi Stem Cell Treatment Center here in Ocean Springs. It's located behind the Ocean Springs Hospital. And again, once again, amazing work that you're doing here. Thank so again, you. if you want some more information, give them a call, set up an appointment, and come see if they can get you some relief.